session two of the habits program. In the last session, we gave you the tough task of watching what you eat and to note down everything you put in your mouth. In this session, we'll get to know all about fats and calories. How do they affect your health and which foods are high in them? We'll also be taking tracking to the next level and measuring what you eat. We'll also be setting your fat and calorie goals and discussing how to achieve them. But before we get to all that, let's find out what our five health crusaders have been up to since last week. And how is it going? It's very good. Very good. Huh? You know, when I started out, I was all gung-ho and excited. But um, as a week went by, I realized that it was getting a little tough. You know, I would eat something and then rush for some work immediately right after. And I would leave tracking for later. But then later, you really don't remember all the details. I mean, it was quite an effort. Yeah, it was a bit of an effort for me too, you know. But slowly I began to see the pattern emerge, you know. Um, there were days I would just skip lunch and have some ridiculous snack like a patty. Deadlines, long meetings, they would all just make me skip meals. So tracking has helped you realize your unhealthy eating habits. Maybe now you can try and change your behavior? I feel this is what I keep on doing all day. And I realize that I eat pretty frequently. <laughs> This habits program is not like those other diet programs. Out here, you have to work a lot. The other programs, they tell you what to eat and what not to eat. You have to observe yourself, what you eat and how you eat. I'll show you. Like one cold coffee and one paneer tikka roll. You have to work a lot and you have to work a lot. Oh, shut up. Just kidding, Baba. Why do you worry so much? I'm sure it's gonna work. Just keep trying. I hope so. Let's keep at it. I've known Tanya since my childhood. She's always been a little plump. I just hope she changes her lifestyle to a little healthier one. Because in the long run, this is not good for her. At this time, just really hope she changes her lifestyle. Abu does only two things in life. Work and eat. I sometimes feel that he is only for eating. His cholesterol and sugar have been high for a while. And he also takes the blood pressure. For him, it will be a good thing. But I will make sure he follows this program very well. I know he can bring things under control if he can manage his weight. Tell me, what did you eat with your office? What did you eat with your chai? You went back. I ate two meals with your chai. Two? But you had to do it with your food. Abbu, this has to stop. You eat too much. Okay, it's okay, son. It's okay. I'll say no more with chai. Okay? And no more pakoda right now. Keep it. Keep it. My son, I'm going back. I feel like this program is my place. What's wrong? That's very good, Mr. Khan, that your son is helping you. But you can change your habits yourself. And my son Rakesh is helping me too. I had written whatever I wrote in the diary when he came back from tuition, he put everything on the computer. Now, I don't have a computer, but I can see everything in detail. Yes, very good, Mrs. Parekh. That's an interesting idea. And since everything is so detailed, it will be easier for you to make healthier food choices as we go along. So quite a week it's been, hasn't it? Mm. Yes. Mm. Just one question though, did everybody continue tracking this morning? <laughs> I barely made it here. Okay, but you need to do that wherever yeah. you are. So food was one thing and weight was another. So now we are going to check your weight and then continue with today's session. Okay? Right. So let's begin. Let's yeah. go. That looks good, Tanya. You were 69 last week and today you're 68. Wow, Tanya. Good job. You're the champion of diets in the truth. How much is it? 87 kgs. Is it more than 1 kg in the last week? I think it's a lot of pressure on the person. Mrs. Parekh? Mrs. Parekh, your weight has reduced 1 kg. You're 63. I know that I'm eating more than I'm eating. I'm a little conscious. Very good. Raghu, your weight is the same as last week, 78 kgs. Hmm. Well, I suppose it is the first week 
Uh, the going is going to be a bit slow. We've just begun. From today, I'll teach you new strategies to help you get healthier. Charitra, let's check your weight. Charitra, your weight is the same as last week. Really? Don't worry, it's just the first week. It'll be better once you make lifestyle changes. So let's begin our session for today. Here we go. Session two is going to turn us all into detectives. Fat and calorie detectives. We learn how to hunt down fat and calories from our hidden daily diets and then bring them down to healthier limits. You know, I always thought that sugar is the main culprit in diabetes. But we just don't seem to be talking about it. Fats feel like our number one target. Well, that's an interesting observation. You know, diabetes is a condition where the body loses the ability to regulate the sugar levels in the blood. Now, where does this sugar come in the blood? It comes from the food we eat. So we go straight to the source. Now, fat. Although it's essential, but in higher quantities, it can cause a lot of trouble. We all know that fat makes us gain weight. It has twice the amount of calories when you compare it to the same amount of carbs, protein or starch. As many as 9 calories in 1 gram of fat when compared to 4 calories in a gram of carbs or protein. And a high fat diet leads to a higher risk of diabetes and heart diseases. So, we should avoid fried food? Avoid exactly. But just avoiding fat is not enough. You have to avoid high calorie foods which are not even fatty because they also lead to weight gain. That's why we keep an eye on two things fat and calories. So now you tell me, which are the foods that have the maximum amount of fat and calories? Chips, namkeen, paranthas, makhan ghee. Mr. Khan, you know a lot of things. You can tell me. Fried food, like uh, dal wada, uh, bhajia. Bhajia? Haan, pakode. Oh. How about those uh, ready to cook foods like uh, potato, veggies and chicken nuggets? Yeah, those too. Okay, so all of these foods have a lot of fat in them. Let's see how much. That's quite a list. Other than these, soft drinks, fruit drinks and even packaged drinks also have a lot of calories in them. So does uh, dairy products and bakery products like pastries and cakes. Also meat has a lot of fat in it as well. But these are the foods that we know obviously have fat in them. But there's other food that we eat which also has a lot of fat but we don't know about it. This is where we have to sharpen our detective skills. Let's play a game. I have paired up some food items and you have to guess which one has more fat. I <laughs> Okay, come on, let's start. Which one do you think has more fat? A paratha or an omelet? Paratha, of course. I would go with paratha. It has more oil. Well, actually, it's the omelet. It has five grams more fat than the paratha. Oh, oh God. So, do you want to see how much that really is? That means we can have oh. Whoa. Oh. Two whole cubes of butter. It's the egg yolks in the omelet that has hidden calories that takes the count up. Let's see what we have next. Okay, so now which one? A dosa or a vegetable patty? I will go with the vegetable patty. That's correct actually. The layers of the puff pastry in a patty are lined with oil to make them flaky. The vegetable patty has about 12 grams of fat, whereas the dosa has only 5. Baked products although are not heavy on the stomach, but they are very high in fat. Let's move on to the next one. Hmm. Yeah. A sub or a paneer tikka roll with pudina chutney? That's easy. A sub is definitely healthier, so I'll go with the paneer roll. Anyone else? Well, the correct answer to that is the submarine sandwich. Deceptive, isn't it? That's because the sauces that go in a sub sandwich, like mayonnaise, are very high in fat. As much as 6 grams of fat in a tablespoon. Should I show you how much that is? Ah. That's a lot of butter, isn't it? Yeah, sandwich to chupa rustam nikla. <laughs> I will tell her about this. That how hidden fat is. Yes, you have to tell Before moving on, let's do a quick recap. We are on the lookout for fats and calories in our food. Fats in high quantities not only cause weight gain, but also increases the risk of developing diabetes and heart disease. Fats contain double the amount of calories than the same amount of carbohydrates or proteins. 
So reduction of fats in our diets is one of our primary goals. Butter, ghee and vanaspati oil are obviously high in fat. Other common high fat, high calorie food items are packaged snacks like namkeen, matthi and chips. Dairy products like full fat milk and ice creams. Ready to cook products like chicken nuggets and kebabs. Fried dishes like french fries, pakoras and varas. Many types of food items may not seem high in fat but in reality have hidden fats. These include processed meats, red meats like mutton, dishes that contain egg with the yolk in them, sauces for sandwiches and burgers and baked products. It's time to join our friends again.